Hello Capricorn, this is Sage Intuitive and I'm here to do a general love reading for your sign. We're going to check in to see what's going on with the person that is on your mind right now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Capricorns, are if you're here representing, put your Capricorn sign zodiac symbol in the comment section and represent your sign. Also, put your birthday down there. Find your birthday twin as well. All right, so let's get started with Capricorn. What's the overall energy for Capricorn and the person that is on their mind? Capricorn and the person that is on Capricorn's mind. Chemistry. So there's a strong magnetic attraction here between you and someone. We also have worth waiting for. So divine timing is at work in your love life. So this is really good to start out. So we're going to see. Is it starting out that you and this person have strong chemistry um, together? Something that continually um, brings you back to each other. You keep, you know, it's one of those every time I try to leave it, I, you know, something keeps pulling me back, right? Um, let's see what's going on in this situation. What is happening in this situation where there's this lot of this huge amount of chemistry is worth waiting for. Sorry for the outside noise. I do have my window open right now because it's a nice day. Um, where I don't need my AC, so. So chemistry, so we're starting out with marriage. This relationship is moving towards a sacred um, union. We have healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. What else is going on for Capricorns, please? Forgiveness, someone is wanting forgiveness. I saw this card about three or four different times here. So this is a situation where someone... Um, Maybe you were dreaming, fantasizing um, about marriage with this person. This person could be doing that um, to you as well or, or was doing that. But there is something that kind of came in between here. There was some kind of wrench here having to do with some kind of healing. Um, something that somebody either has not healed from um, or is trying to heal from currently. Um that's what I'm that's what I'm feeling like something something that is requiring it's you know requiring them to ask for forgiveness or you are needing to forgive yourself for something that happened in this connection um, abundance so this is saying that you've done some um, work here so there's going to be some abundance that's going to flow to you and that you can be vulnerable with this person and open with this person but I do feel like there was a wrench kind of thrown into the situation because of that forgiveness card and that healing. Someone may have healing from a past pain or hurt that was happening. Um, someone here could have been giving a little bit too much in this relationship at one point or another. Maybe that's why you're asking for forgiveness or they're asking for forgiveness. Take it as it resonates. It's a general reading. We have twin flame here. So this is a divine counterpart connection. Some of you, if you believe in twin flames, this is a really, really strong soulmate, the highest level of a soulmate. So some of you know that this is supposed to be your person here, right? Recommitment, new love, recommitment. You know that this is supposed to be your person here. Um, but I feel like there was a lack of balance in this situation um, that may have may have thrown it off a bit. So maybe that's why I'm saying, you know, yeah, we have a lot of chemistry. We have feelings, very strong feelings for each other. Um, but that's with that worth worth waiting for. That's telling me that there is some type of um there is some type of separation. Look, second second chance here. So this says this relationship deserves a second chance. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. So this could be taking time to get to know each other again. Because we have two cards about recommitment here. And then it's saying gets to go slow. Um, someone here could also be in the process of awakening. It says both people in this connection are undergoing spiritual transformations. Here we saw healing. We see awakening here as well. So it's saying, yeah, I think that this could... Um, could stand the test of time but there had to be a halt because there was some healing that needs to be needed to be done individually before you can be back together um that happens sometimes in these twin flame dynamics um 
and these soulmate dynamics is something that you know you you come across each other because you need to heal something and it's like you may at the end of the day end up being with this person yet and still you just have some things that you need to do and it's going to take time <laughs> it's going to take some time wait um this is saying waiting for the right time and we saw worth waiting for and now this is saying this is waiting for the right time somebody here is very antsy they want things to happen now they're very impatient um when it comes to moving and up leveling the situation someone is having a problem with um patience here and waiting for the right time to enter this is causing somebody to be very insecure because things are not running the way that you want it to run or they want it to run so someone here is very insecure someone here also it has some addiction issues so this could be um codependency issues this could also be um um addicted to certain type of thoughts and maybe that thought is insecure because these two came out together so they they could be some insecurity um because of the way that they're thinking as such there's a lot of gossiping going on or someone trying to get information i mean a little bit we're doing this now right <laughs> you know we're trying to get the tea right um on what's happening so there could be some gossip around this uh situation there's somebody here who knows more than what's being actually said out loud or um from either party here yep so then we have the communication here along with spirit guides so somebody here is also getting some communications from, uh, and, and uh, messages messages from their spirit guides here um, but we have the gossiping and communication and such where somebody is not really saying everything that they know but the guides the angels and the guides here are really um here protecting this situation there have been synchronicities coming through to you and your person by either like numbers names all those type of things but someone here is blocked on um social media um here they are they're wanting access to it because they want to lurk so your person could possibly want to lurk um on your social media they could also have fr fake accounts again this is um could be vice versa maybe you're blocked you're you're blocked you have them blocked or um you have fake accounts that you're trying to watch this person but again that's where you're trying to get the tea about it but i think looks or looks are a bit deceiving in this situation we have contract here so this is desiring marriage so they're desiring some type of commitment um again yes this is something that could move to the next level but we're just having a hard time getting there because we have to allow for the time to run its course so that the the um things that need to be healed can be properly healed this person could be wanting to give you some type of gift or their significance around some type of um gift that you you received in the past from them yeah see here inner child healing here so they could have had a um, either a bad childhood they could have been neglected abused they have uh, fear of rejection there could be some immaturity here um, emotional immaturity here this situation for some of you and for some of the people that you're dealing with it's like taking a chance so it's like they're they're gambling for some of them um they don't know what to get get in this situation see what else we have this person is extremely attracted to you um they admire you a lot there could be um, some type of change in their living situation um i from this i feel like someone is not happy in a current living situation here and um there that that could be forcing some type of change sooner uh than later here someone here has been praying someone here has been asking their guides uh their, their guides their guides um for information and um guidance and protection here someone here is probably just now starting to like get into spirituality somebody's trying to restore their faith if they were a christian or some kind of religion at some point they're trying to restore their faith there are lessons here to be learned 
between you and your person and need, the need to be really strong here the proposal someone here is desiring marriage this is coming up again but there's a lot of stress going on in this person's life if they're dealing with someone else they potentially could not even be intimate with this particular person this is part of their karma here they could also be holding on to something that you had given them i said that was something significant about a gift right they could be holding on to to gifts you could be holding on to gifts maybe even text messages or letters um or something pictures or something that you have received but they hold on to that because they cherish it because you gave it to them or you um or they you they gave you something that um they cherish so let's see what this person would want to say what does capricorn this person want to say <laughs> this card fell i thought it was just falling out of my hand i put it back in the deck and it came out again you give me that spark so it's something about you that is significant that you you give them like this spark of energy it says you will hear from me soon some of you who have not heard from this person in a while will get some type of communication um soon it says i've thought about surprising you with a date so that it, that could be part of what that communication will be about wanting to talk i want a commitment with you just not yet so there it's because they're not ready yet we see a lot about time and patience here so they're not ready it says you influence me in ways no one ever has so maybe there's a way that you speak to this person that really um helps them to uh you know influencing them to do better in certain areas of their life i know you've been right i'm trying to forgive myself we did see that there we saw forgiveness a couple times um we saw that this person was asking for forgiveness by you know trying to redirect their their faith and spirituality but we also saw that they were asking for forgiveness and this person is saying give me a chance um some of them are saying i have options but i only want you just know that i'm obsessed with you and i think we saw that anyway um let's get one final message for the person that's on capricorn's mind for capricorn please don't focus on who wants me i want you <laughs> uh, so uh, you know, I feel like it could be another person. They could be in another situation. Um, but it's karma. Whatever the situation is that they are in, they are kind of paying some karmic debt that they've had. Um, they have to um, pay in order to move forward. So that is what I have for you, Capricorn. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Take care.